This is the International Space Station update for Tuesday, October 25th. The three Expedition 29 crew members will continue to pack the station's Progress 42 vehicle with trash today, readying it to undock on Saturday at 4.04 a.m. Central Time, with this deorbit burn at 7.11 Central Time a.m. With the departure of that vehicle, the station will be ready for the arrival of the Progress 45, which will launch on Sunday, bringing supplies to the station. Progress 45 is filled with 2.8 tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the station crew, including 1,653 pounds of propellant, 110 pounds of oxygen and air, 926 pounds of water, and 3,108 pounds of spare parts, experiment hardware, and other supplies. Progress 45 will roll to its launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on Friday, just before sunrise, with launch set for Sunday, scheduled at 5.11 a.m. Central Time and 4.11 p.m. Baikonur Time. Uh, docking to the station's Piers Docking Compartment, it's scheduled to arrive on Wednesday, November 2nd at 6.40 uh, a.m. Central Time. Be sure to check NASA TV schedule for coverage of uh, the Progress 45 launch and the undocking of Progress 42. With the arrival of that Progress 45 vehicle, Commander Mike Fossum and his crew members Satoshi Furukawa and Sergei Volkov will begin preparations for the arrival of three new crew members on November 16th. That is the remainder of the Expedition 29 crew. Anton Sh uh, Shakaplarov, Anatoly Ivanishin, and U.S. astronaut uh, and future commander of the space station Dan Burbank are set to launch on November 13th on Soyuz 28 with docking to the station on November 15th. Those three new crew members will have only a few days to prepare for the handover of that uh, International Space Station because Fossum, Furukawa, and Volkov will return to Earth on November 22nd. At that point, Burbank will take command of the station. And the crew also becomes the Expedition 30 crew and will work as a three-person crew for 36 days. The remainder of the Expedition 30 crew with NASA's Don Pettit, Russia's Ole Kononenko and Europe's Andre Kuperz will launch uh, to the station aboard the Soyuz 29 spacecraft on or about uh, December 26 and will dock to the station two days later. In other activities today on board the International Space Station, the con crew is continuing to work some of the more than 100 experiments that are on board the station and will be loading updated software into their computers. This morning they interviewed with CNN and MSNBC and we'll have that later for you in today's uh, broadcast. And the crew is also taking some time to capture photos of the cities of Moroni, which is on the island of Gran Comer and the Indian Ocean, and the cities of Esmara, Riyadh, and Mexico City. Furukawa is also checking out the Sivas isolator today, one of the station's exercise machines, making sure that it is stable for tomorrow's reboost. That reboost of the International Space Station is set for 7.52 a.m. Central, and it is the final burn in a series of reboost maneuvers to place the station at the correct altitude for the upcoming launch and docking of the Progress 45 and the Expedition 30 crew's arrival uh, on the Soyuz TMA-22. That reboost will be one minute and 54 seconds of uh, firing of this Vezda service module's engines and will raise the station's altitude about 2.7 miles at the apogee and 1.6 miles at the perigee. Today, Fossum continues to work on the binary colloidal uh, alloy experiment. Uh, that's called the BCAT test. It's the BCAT 6. Uh, yesterday, the crew received kudos from the principal investigators at the University of Pennsylvania for all of the work they've done on the BCAT experiments. The BCAT experiments actually started on the Mir space station back in the uh, 90s. BCAT experiments lay the foundation for nanotechnology and nanomechanical systems in space and have attracted attention in the fields of ceramics, composites, and optical fibers. Fossum is continuing to work on that first segment of the BCAT 6 and uh, is continuing to work on a number of other experiments today. Uh, wrapping up our International Space Station update. For more information, be sure to uh, check out uh, the Space Station site on www.nasa.gov forward slash station and follow us at Twitter on NASA underscore Johnson. This is Mission Control Houston.